What's going down, Donnery McCants up in her Pro Power Performance, Personal Training, Fitness, Health, Athletics. That's what we made it do, buddy. That's what we made it do. All right. Um, I'm on tip two. Dose. Tip dose. Tip dose. All right. Second tip to start to help with your process of weight loss. The trick is to log your food. Log everything that you consume. So, first tip was consume more water. Consume all water if you can. But, so, that first tip. So, even when you drink water, write it down. Find a book. There's several apps. If you need an app, I can send you one. Um, all I need is an email, um, and it's more information for some some uh, some of the web websites I'm a, I'm attached to. The trick is with all these weight loss programs. The trick is logging your food. Now you're accountable because now you can see it. Now you can see, hey, I eat a lot of junk. Hey, I'm not eating enough. Because some people, it goes both ways. I might eat enough, so I'm gaining weight because your body is waiting for the next meal. Or I'm eating too much because I'm not drinking. I'm not eating, then I overconsume when I sit down. Because I'm only eating twice a day. So when I sit down, I eat enough for three or four days because my body's hungry. At least it feels that way. And by the time I, I finish eating, oh, so you build a bad cycle. You also have to pay attention to how much you're consuming. I had one young lady I was training. I'm 225. She was 5'9 and 225. She was consuming enough for me. That's why she was 225. So you have to pay attention to how much you're consuming. We're going to go back to the old school. Old school adage. That's my hand. I'm use that hand. That right there. The palm of your hand. We're going to go back to that. I want you to pay attention to that. If your portion is bigger than the palm of your hand, you have too much. Whatever the course is, it should be no bigger than the palm of your hand. A piece of chicken, a piece of big beef. For those who don't eat meat, the, the, the vegetables, the, the plate, whatever, you know, the scoop, scoop it, pop. Once you get that, you don't need to scoop, scoop. It's cool. Now that's what the problem is. Positive habit number two. Log your food. You will want to log for two weeks to up to three months so you can see your habits. Generally, after two weeks, you'll know pretty much your habits. You'll realize that, wow, I'm consuming way too much sugar. Wow, I'm consuming way too much carbs, which turn into sugar. So now you know why you're holding on to storing body fat. Because you have you have too much sugar in your diet, and you're not getting rid of it because you have a sit down, a sedentary job. So you gotta pay attention to your environment. What kind of job do I have? How many calories am I putting out versus how many calories am I putting in? If you keep stacking and stacking calories, you have a big bank account, right? So you put a whole bunch of money in the bank, you get that big bank account. In ideal situation, you almost want to balance to almost be in a deficit. I'm not big on a deficit situation, but it'll help start to reduce your weight. So if you put in a certain amount of calories, you either got to expend more energy or eat less. That's going to be the trick. Okay, so trick two, log your food. Log your food for at least two weeks to three months every day, no matter whether it's water you're putting in your body. Um... Proteins, fats, carbs. Write them down. The more you write it down, the more you understand yourself, the more you understand your habits, then you can start to curb what you need to curb. If you don't know, ask somebody. I am here. You can always send it to me, um, and I'll help you and kind of guide you. Like, okay, you have too many proteins, you have too many fats, you have too many carbs. That's going to be the ideal. Okay? How many times you eat throughout the day? Um, what I have, what I call on the go snacks. Get your trail mixes, grab your fruits, grab your vegetables. Um, 
If you want to dip your vegetables, make sure you know you're reading the calories on the dip. Generally, it's not the vegetable that gets you in trouble. It's that man-made product called dressing. Unless you're just sprinkling lemon juice on it. Most people like that good old dressing because it tastes good, feel good, but it'll have high to thousand calories in it. So even if you're eating a salad and your salad is this big, let's reduce it. Palm of the hand, palm of the hand. That's trick two, tip two. All right, I'm going to shut it down from that. Any questions, hit me up, let me know. Second tip to a healthy habit, fitness lifestyle athletics it's a lifestyle all of this stuff is a lifestyle so retrain yourself reteach yourself relearn new habits you create new habits change your mind change your body change your lifestyle Donarian over and out pro pop performance you know